This is the filament from this video. And what do you think? What will be the color of printed objects? Welcome to another PPA based filament testing video. This is the strongest filament type I can print myself. And this is a Fetus Next PA CF25 based on PPA or polyfilamide with 25% carbon fibers in the core of the filament. And uh, testing of this filament was a request of my Patreon supporters, so I bought it myself. Uh, if this request would arrive today, I have now the budget from the Polymaker, who will soon become a channel sponsor, and uh, I can buy any filament I want to test. But at that time, this was uh, not possible, so I bought it from my Patreon donations. So big thanks to all supporters for this. Looks like they changed the name of the group in the meantime, because on the box I can see AI Carbon, and on the website name of the group is AI Coating. On the website they mention this coextrusion skin core structure and 25% shop carbon fibers. And usually the manufacturers mention three main advantages. First one is better layer adhesion, less nozzle wear, and less exposed fibers on the printed surface. And this I explained detailly in one very short three minute video. I highly suggest you to watch it if you're not familiar with core filaments. And not even mentioned in that video or not even mentioned by other manufacturers, I believe that there is a fourth advantage and that's option for more colors because these carbon fibers are in black color and if uh, we have the regular carbon fiber filament, usually they are in a black color or maybe they have some base material which is let's say red, blue, but the final product will be in dark red, dark blue and similar colors. But if those fibers are in the core of the filament, I believe that in that case we have more freedom with the colors which will be outside. On the Fetus website I can see they started adding new colors too. Pity they didn't have that when I ordered this filament because definitely I will buy some different colors. I started to be a little bit tired from these black color technical filaments. And now about the print settings. The recommended nozzle temperature is between 300 and 340 degrees Celsius. And on their website they have a nice graph. Temperature versus extrusion force. This means on higher temperatures, less force is needed by the extruder and we can print on higher speeds too. Now I already tested very similar filaments by Kidi and Siraya and I printed them on Babolab X1 Carbon on 300 degrees Celsius. And the main test objects will be printed with these settings on this printer. But for the layer adhesion test, I will print some other test objects too on Kidi Plus 4 and I will print them on 300, 320 and 340 degrees Celsius to see is there any bigger difference. Now I couldn't see any information about annealing on the Fetus website, but I know that PPA or polyphenolamide can be annealed. But the biggest advantage only we can see in temperature resistance. Mechanical properties are not changed significantly. But with my equipment, uh, this carbon fiber version, even if it is not annealed, we probably reach the maximal temperature of my equipment and I cannot see any kind of deformation on it. So in this video, all test objects will be tested as they are now without annealing. And in this case, I can compare these results with those which I did in earlier videos with similar PPA filaments. Nice vacuum packaging and this material is much better compared to this foil. It protects better the filament from the moisture. Same information we have on the sticker. The bag is not resealable. Hmm, nice grey color <laughs> with some black pigments, interesting. I'm not sure if you can see it on the screen too, but for the touch I can feel that the diameter is not really constant. Let's see how brittle is this filament. Yes, brittle like any other PPAC filament I tested so far. Mm, and this is interesting, maybe I can even see this core which is in a black color in the center of the filament. Definitely very unique filament. PPA is not so sensitive to moisture, but it will get some drying and then I can hardly wait. I want to start the printing as soon as possible. I'm not sure what is the maximal temperature for this pool, so the drying will be on 70 degrees Celsius few hours. Theoretically this dryer have the possibility to rotate the spool during the drying, but unfortunately now after one year it starts to dying a little bit. Engineering plate with some glue on it and I already know that it also works with this textured PI sheet without glue. Generic PPA CF as a base, 300 degrees Celsius the max nozzle temperature and 8 will be the flow and this is the part calling. The start is good, but it looks almost black through this glass. 
Printing will be finished soon, four more minutes. Let's see the result. Objects are really nice, but uh, where is that grey color? And now the layer adhesion test objects will be printed on Kiddy Plus 4. I will have three sets of these test objects. These are printed with 2 watts and 20% infill. And this first one is printed on 300 degrees Celsius. Ok, looks like I still have to use the glue stick. 90 degrees Celsius on the bed temperature with the glue on it and this time it looks like it will be finished. Success this time. Yes, glue works fine. Printing on 320 degrees Celsius. And last group printed on 340 degrees Celsius. These are prepared too. Ready for mechanical testing, <laughs> but they are not alone. Ooh, that was a hard cutting. <laughs> this is the filament under the microscope and we can clearly see that core and the skin around it, which is in a grey color. And this is now printed objects. Um, hardly I can see some fibers, but they are melted into plastic. But I'm missing that grey color. From time to time I can see it, but I would like to see grey full object. Maybe the skin could be thicker. I'm starting with this layer adhesion test. Uh, these are printed with 2 watts and 20% infill on different temperatures. Positive effect of the temperature is quite obvious and it is great that we have more and more printers which can print far above 300 degrees Celsius. In this video the filament will be compared to the average fiber reinforced PPA and we can see in this case the tensile strength is very similar but extremely strong compared to any other filament type. And this layer adhesion is very similar to the average PPA, which is actually excellent. Shear test with horizontally printed objects, and here I have to use my stronger equipment, but I have to analyze the footage digitally. And this one is printed in vertical position. As you can see, this material really resists good to the shear test, especially printed in horizontal position. Torque or twist test with horizontally and vertically printed test objects with the same dimensions. This one is printed in horizontal position. Two point nine is the peak. And vertically printed object. Two point four. Vertically printed breaks very suddenly, which is typical, until with the horizontal one I could feel that moment before the break, but this is not really typical for the PPA filament. Yes, it is typical for other filament types. With horizontally printed load and 90 degree rotation, and with vertical maximum loads are very similar, only with this filament I could make more turns and it broke on high load, which is not so typical for the fiber reinforced PPA. 3 point bending test and uh, these loads will be placed one by one and I'm measuring the deformation after 1, 30 and uh, 60 seconds. This is the deformation under 2.5 kilograms. Under 5 kilograms and no additional deformation during the time, not even under 10 kilograms. This material really resists good to the bending. Fiber reinforced PPA is extremely stiff, almost rigid material with very minimal deformation during the time, even under 10 kilograms. The crypt is deformation under the constant load and as you can see I have really a lot of tests in the progress and the load will be 1.25 kilograms. Twelve point thirteen. I will measure them every day, but in the video let's jump five days. This is the last fifth day, and interesting these four materials have very similar deformation, only this one almost don't have any deformation, that's a PPA CF. But let's measure them. 12.29 And this filament is no exception, every fiber reinforced PPA resists good to the creeping. Impact test with this half kilogram hammer. 
zero position. From the zero, that position of the hammer was 48 millimeters, and from this I can calculate the breaking energy, but this also means that this material is slightly tougher compared to the average PPA. Temperature test in the oven, and I have several experiments in the progress, but these are all PPA based materials, and I believe that this will be the most useless temperature test I ever did, because I think I've reached the maximum temperature of this equipment, and there will be no deformation. Fatal Screality and then 3 kiddy filaments, glass, carbon fiber and the core version. And this is almost the end of this testing and it was extremely hard to notice any start of the deformation, but on this Fatal's I could notice some deformation on 220 degrees Celsius. The testing I stopped on 230 degrees Celsius. And for the touch all 5 materials are hard in this case. Interesting after this test I can see some micro deformation on each of them. The biggest is on the fetus and then on the glass fiber kiddy. Other three are very similar. All results are more type without any additional comments. And this one line will be added to that summary table with all my earlier measuring results. And this is my only gift to my Patreon supporters. Big thanks to them because uh, without them the activity on this channel would be very minimal. YouTube algorithm don't really recommend my videos from some reason. The strength of this material is very similar to all other PPA fiber reinforced filaments I tested on this channel. And basically maybe the price will decide which one you want to use. But I will compare them soon in one single video against each other. Now uh, I was very pleasant surprised when I saw that this one is in some kind of grey color, but I was disappointed when it looks like it was black. Maybe that uh, skin should be a little bit thicker, in that case that color would dominate a little bit more. And I saw they have some glass fiber version in very interesting colors. I don't know, do you want me to test them too? The shipping would be very expensive from the US, but huge thanks to all my Patreon supporters because they keep this channel alive. And also now I have the channel sponsor, Polymaker, and I have a special budget to buy any filament I want to test. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and happy printing!